Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Tweak here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I farm Shoreline. I've, as some of you may know, for the last 10 days straight I've been doing nothing but playing Shoreline farming for a red key card. I still haven't found it yet. I've made a ton of money, but one thing never changes. Every day I get asked a million times, how do you farm Shoreline? What keys do you use? So, you know, what are your roots? So, in this video, I'm going to explain all that to anybody who has any questions about how to farm Shoreline and all that jazz. Let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So, I'm going to do this from the very start. I'm going to open my sick case, and these are all the keys that I use. For East Wing, I use 205, 226, 306, and 310. I also have the Cottage key, which I'll explain in a minute. And then for West Wing, I have 218, 220, and 301. And then I have the 107 key, which I always forget to open. Uh, and then I have all of the safe keys for Shoreline as well. Uh, the HEPS key, which I never usually use unless I'm down near that area. Uh, and I also have the storeroom key. So these are the... Uh, how many keys are here? Five? Uh, 15 keys. These are the 15 keys that I use for Shoreline. And we're just going to get into this now. So we have spawned right next to the colleges. Or the estate houses, however you like to call them. So let me show you guys a couple of things here. Because I know there's some stuff about these cottages that people do not know. And why they are actually valuable to loot. Besides the safes that they contain. So, we're going to come in here and go straight into cotter cottage numero uno. We're going to come to this back room. And right here, there is a key spawn. This key is room 220 west wing, I think. Um, it's worth anywhere from like 1.5 to 2 mil, depending on the time of day. Uh, and then when we come upstairs, check this for a flash drive. Open these two doors. You have one safe up there. And then you have one safe right here. So there you go. Now, leaving the first estate house and moving on to the second that you need the cottage key to get into. Just going to run along the old fence. Watch out for scavs. There's tons of scavs around here usually. Um, we're going to, first of all, run up to these blue barrels. And on top of these blue barrels, uh, along here, so I believe it's there, the cottage key spawns. So once you get the cottage key, you can open this door. And this lets you into the second cottage, of course. So you just want to open these doors, come in here, go straight upstairs, open these two doors. Before you go in there, check here for a flash drive in the PC. Come in here, you have one safe here. And then here... You have another safe that requires a key, and it uses this one, Cottage Safe Key. So, if you want to open that safe, grab the Cottage Safe Key for yourself. So then, leaving, what we're going to do is we're going to come straight over here to this little pile of planks at the back of the Garden of the Estate House. And then we're simply going to jump over and continue... All the way up to the resort. Now, a couple of things I'd like to say while I'm running up to the resort. Because I know I'm going to get comments about this. You missed this room. You missed that room. This room has this many weapons cases in it. This room has this in it. This room has that in it. Did you know that this spawns here? There are a lot of rooms in the resort that I choose not to bother looting. A couple of reasons for this. Usually, when I'm running Shoreline... I get to the resort, I PvP in the resort, try and grab as much stuff as I can off people that I've killed. If I don't grab enough stuff off those people, or if I've killed them after the fact, after I've looted all the other rooms, like, generally I'm pretty full at that point. And all the extra looting and stuff you do, like, you're kind of prolonging your time in the resort. Um, so, I like to kind of be quick and efficient when I'm moving through here. So, generally... I like to get through. If it's quiet, I leave the raid. If I hear a ton of gunfire, I hang around and I fight. So, a lot of, like, external factors will, you know... They'll make it so, like, I might not stay as long. Or maybe I'll loot all the rooms unimpeded. Or maybe I won't. Won't be able to. Or maybe I'll get there and a bunch of the rooms will already be looted, you know? If I get caught up in a fight before I ever actually get to the resort. So, we're coming into West Wing now. When you're coming into West Wing, watch these windows. People like to sit in these windows. Watch the roof as well. You need to be careful while you're moving up here. Scavs often patrol over there too. When you come in, check these. You can find wreck batteries, obviously. Bleaches here. You can also find hand drills. And you can also find uh, corrugated hoses and stuff here too. 
one of the offices down here. Where is it? 107. Office 107. That's 112. Where's Office 107 at? See? Oh, it's always open. Cool. I have a pointless key. San 107. Oh, wait. It's in the East Wing. Oh. Pfft. The more you know. I don't even know where I got that key from. I don't even think I bought it. But <laughs> besides the point, right? So what I usually do is the first thing I do is I come in here into West Wing 218. I'm going to open the door. And the very first thing I do when I come in here is I check right here. This is a red key card spawn. I always check this first, right? Check there. An Arsas can spawn here. That's good money. Tons of food here that you can grab. Uh, usually money on the table. You can check these weapon lockers here for like DVLs or shotguns or whatever. Up here you can get morphines, propotols, stims, all that other kind of good stuff. More money spawns here on the table as well. An M4 can spawn right here. Uh, and then a crappy AK can spawn there as well. You also have a med bag. You also have a duffel. So, you also have a big weapons case there. So, moving on from that, we're going to come out and then we're going to loot room 220. Which is the only other key that I have for this side of the map besides the safe that's upstairs over there. So, if you want to loot the safe on the third floor, you can go do that. Over here on this box or on this table here are rare item spawns. You have a weapon case here, weapon case here, a money spawn here. Uh, another weapons case here, and a ton of med spawns here. I farm a lot of my meds from this spot right here. So, there you go. The safe is pretty much, like, right there. You go up the stairs, you take more or less an immediate left. I think once you get past the beds, and the safe is in one of those open rooms there, but you need a key to open it. So, that's all I loot on this side of the resort. Or, sorry, I'm lying, actually. We need to go upstairs. My bad. We need to go loot, uh, 301 as well, I believe is the room number. So you come down to the very end of the hallway here. You want to swing a left, and here is room 301. Now, 301 is pretty good. Uh, again, lots of med spawns and stuff like that, but I often find, yeah, hand drill and an ophthalmoscope. So there you go. Right when you come in the door, right on top of these uh, these big tankers, and then on the floor here, there's uh, spawns for that kind of stuff. Coming through here, check the PC for flash drives. Check both of them. Med spawn here. Um, capacitors there. you got a big weapons box there. Salah was here. Uh, for some reason, I think an SV-98 can spawn on this bed. Um, or there's some other gun spawn on this bed. I don't exactly remember. Like, I'm sure people in the comments will let me know. But I think a, a sniper rifle can spawn on the bed there. I'm not 100% sure, though. So now, we have looted 301. Where is Where do we go next? We drop down this hole. We're going to go all the way down to the basement. And we're going to check the second red keycard spawn, which spawns right there, I believe. Uh, it, they're on the, it's on this shelf here. I still haven't found it yet, so I'm pretty sure it spawns there or there. Yeah. So that's another red keycard spawn for you. You got duffel bag there, duffel bag back over there too, but I usually skip by them duffel in there as well. I usually run past them when I'm doing my runs on this map. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll go through admin building. Let's go through admin first. Admin is where a lot of juice can spawn, man. A lot of people skip over admin and really sleep on it. So, I'm just going to run over to admin building. First thing we're going to do is we're going to run up these stairs here. Get up to the first floor. Uh, what I always do is I swing in here. Check this PC for a flash drive. Come over here. This PC here for a flash drive. Yes, flash drives can spawn in that PC. I want to check this PC as well. Come over here. Check this PC. Around here, industrial stuff can spawn. So corrugated hoses and stuff can spawn there. Some pliers there right now. And then check this PC for a flash. For a flash drive as well. Alright, continuing on. We're going to come into this room. Check the desk right here. There's a key spawn here that's quite valuable. About 180k. Or sorry, uh, about... Uh, I think about 800k actually that key is worth. On this shelf here, you can get corrugated hoses amongst other things. Some tubes, wrenches, other industrial loot spawns. Check this for a flash drive. Open up this door. Tetrises can spawn on this table. Tetrises can spawn right here as well. Check this PC for a flash drive. And again, you have another safe here that requires a key. Which uses the Health Resort Management Office safe key. That's what opens that safe. Moving on, in here you can get flash drives and graphics cards and all kinds of stuff spawning on the shelves in here. Um, yeah, Tetrises and all that jazz. Uh, PC there, check to see if it spawns a flash drive. And yeah, tons of other like tech loot and stuff spawn in here. This room is really good for juice. 
Then, we are going to come over here, and over to the other side. We're going to come in here, into the pool table room. We're going to hang a left in here into the bathroom. Another key spawn right there that I always check. Uh, you got a weapons box there, and that is it. I'm almost sure there used to be a weapons box right there too, but I think they removed it. Either that or I'm just remembering it incorrectly. Coming in here, uh, you've got more spawns for stuff that can spawn on these shelves. You've got some filing cabinets. I think it's like industrial loot, like uh, hand drills and that kind of stuff can spawn on these shelves as far as I remember. You also have another safe here that requires a key. The key for this safe is the health resort warehouse safe key. So if you want to use this safe, that is the key that you need to get. Now, moving on. We're going to come down the stairs and we're going to run straight to the east wing. Uh, also, this is the northern building. So just for, I don't know, being able to tell your teammates where you are and stuff. Uh, that direction is south. That's west. This is east. That's north. So Rock Passage is north. The beach is south. East wing, you know, is east. West wing, west, obviously. Um, so first thing I do when I come up here... As I come up to the first floor, come in here, check the key rack, check down here as well. Uh, this is where the storeroom key spawns, as far as I remember. And there's a key spawn on that uh, as well, on the uh, the key rack. So now we're going to come to room 205. And inside room 205, you want to come straight to the bed. There's a spawn there. So this time we get a GP coin. Duffel bag there, med bag there. Come over to the other room. There's another rare item spawn here, although it spawns things rather rarely. But I found things like lion statues, cat statues, all that other stuff here. Got a weapons box there, weapons box there, weapons box here, and a bunch of med spawns here. You can get morphines and all kinds of stuff from there. Uh, you can check this weapon locker too if you want, but I normally don't. Now, moving on from 205. The first thing you should really do when you come to East Wing is you should come down to 218. Now, why run down to 218, you may ask? Well, when you come into 218, you run out onto the balcony, you come into this connecting room. This is a red keycard spawn right here next to the laptop covered in blood. So, always check this when you come by. You never know when you're going to get lucky and find a red keycard. Moving on from this, you've got room 222 and room 226. So, you're going to open the door for 226. And we're going to close that right behind us because on this shelf here, there's a bunch of juice. Got an eye pack, ibuprofens, grizzlies, uh, ophthalmoscopes, and all other kinds of juicy medical items spawn there as well. Over here, right now, we've got an NACL. We got some vodka and some milk. Um, so yeah, NACL is a pretty common spawn there, which is worth a decent little bit of money. Coming in here, this is a rare item spawn here. Lion statues, bitcoins, GP coins, pro kills, all that kind of stuff spawn in here. And then on this table... Uh, some of you may have seen the clip. I found three Tetrises in one raid here, just along these uh, two tables. So graphics cards, Tetrises, all that other loot, uh, CPUs, RAM, all that other kind of crap can spawn on that desk. You got a grenade box here and a weapon box here. MP5 spawn on top of this barrel as well. So moving on from here, we're going to come out, swing a left. We're going to go straight up the stairs and then we're going to go into this room here, which is the storeroom key. So I get asked this all the time. This key, the health resort utility room key, you don't need to buy 220 or 328 for this. You just need the storeroom key. Right here, rare item spawn, money spawn. Come in here. This is also a quest room for Peacekeeper, I believe. Um, check this for flash drives. Check here for money. Check here for weapon attachments. I found Reapers, FLIR, suppressors, everything spawning here. Tetris is also spawn on this table here. Fairly commonly as well. So this is a really good room. Then, what I do is I run straight down here. We're going to go into marked room. Check around the floor here. I found lion statues spawn there. Gold chains spawn on the floor here pretty commonly as well. Checking the ear there for the gold chains too. Once you're finished looting this room, you're going to come straight down the hallway towards 310. Then, we're going to open up 310. Hop in he. Check the table. There's a GP coin there now, but y'all know yourselves. Lion statues, cat statues, all other kinds of rare stuff. Pro kills, bitcoins, GP coins, uh, vases, teapots, everything spawns in this room. You can also get bitcoins and stuff from this table as well. Also, while you're here, always check the two duffel bags. Always do it. There is so much good stuff that can spawn in these. I found bitcoins in these. I found paracords. I found all kinds of stuff spawning in these uh, duffel bags. So if you're here and you don't hear anybody else around you, Always check the duffel bags. Get yourself some extra juice. You got a weapons crate there too. As soon as you come out. Now, 
Moving on to 306, which is, I believe, the last room that I always loot. So I come in here. You can check all of these for flash drives. There is sadly none there now. Money spawns on the desk here. Always make sure to pick that up. And then on the bed here, you can get gold chains and horse statues and all that kind of stuff spawning as well. Also, if you come through here, you've got a med box there. You've got uh, food spawns here on the table. And I believe that is about it. So... Basically, if you spawn on the west wing side of the map, you come through west wing and you do that route and you fly on through. Um, if you spawn on east wing, what you do is you obviously come through and you loot east wing first. You go all the way down through west wing. As you're running towards the extraction, you go to the estate houses. So that is pretty much it. Also, to those people that are complaining that I recorded all of this in an offline raid, lads, would you get the fuck over it? It's an offline raid, so I can record this without being interrupted. Get over it. The stream, the quality of the video isn't as good when I record it on stream, so I'm doing it off stream. So the quality is better, and y'all can see all the loot and stuff without any interruptions. Feels good, man. If you guys want to see me running this route all day, every day, hop over to the stream, because that's all I've been able to do over the last couple of days. Um, so yeah, lads, that is pretty much it for Shoreline. I know there's a ton of other places that you can loot and stuff, but honestly, in my opinion, looting all of those rooms, if you're not full by the time you leave, um, you probably have a lot of really valuable stuff on you that you probably want to boogie out with. Um, also, you know, that being said, there is a ton of PvP that goes on up here, so you need to be careful while you're looting it. And uh, if you don't make it to all the rooms, kill the guys that looted them before you, take all their stuff too. So lads, thank you guys very much for watching the video. Um, if you guys like the video, give it now a like. Consider hitting the L subscribe button. We're trying to hit 20k by the end of the year, which would be pretty cool. Um, and also, go check out the Twitch stream, where I'm live pretty much every day. Uh, the link to that will be in the description. It's just twitch.tv slash tweak. We do all this stuff live all the time. And thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, my dudes.